I absolutely need your help. I need your expertise. I need your thoughts and opinions. I'm Chris the Batman Statue Collector. Welcome to another car side chat. And uh, this one was kind of off the cuff here, off the whim. I don't know, know if what I'm saying makes any sense, but basically Sideshow recently, finally, finally put up the um, the tactical Batman. This is the Batcave. This is the one where Batman is sitting on the chair. And Prime One, of course, Prime One Studio produces this statue and it is quarter scale. I was actually hoping at the time it would be third, but it is what it is. It is quarter scale. Okay. Now, Prime One's had it up for a bit. I have never bit the bullet on it. I want it, but I never bit the bullet. And I think a lot of it is because of current shipping prices. Uh, shipping, again, we talk about it so much here on the channel, but shipping has been absurd. And so, you know, for a while there, I was going with Sideshow most of the time, but then their, their shipping started getting crazy. And Prime One was actually less than Sideshow at times. Well, now it's kind of flipped uh, where Prime One's really expensive shipping and Sideshow is a little bit better. Not great, not great, but still better, okay? So I was really excited whenever, uh, for, for whatever reason, Sideshow puts up Prime One Studio statues late, late Friday nights. <laughs> it just I feel like it's kind of an F you a little bit to uh, Prime One. But anyway, Prime One statues go up late, late, late in the evening, Friday nights. Strange. Anyway, I was excited, right? Finally, these uh, are going to be offered. Now, they offer them in three different versions, okay? There is the regular version, there is the deluxe, and then there's like the ultimate deluxe or something like that, okay? And I'll, I'll kind of break those down with you. But the, the thing I need is I want to get one. Okay, I want to get one, but I don't know which one. Okay, so I'm going to preface this with I have purchased from Prime One directly the Alfred. Uh, Sideshow has not offered him yet. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Um, they also haven't offered the Michael Keaton Batman yet. I don't know what's up. Come on, Sideshow, what's up with that? You, you have the Catwoman. <clears throat> but anyway, all right, sorry, I'm getting off topic here. Uh, but anyway, I want one of these. Okay, I have the Alfred. So keep in mind that this is going to complement. Alfred's going to complement this particular piece, right? Okay. So the regular is a thousand dollars, actually a little over a thousand for a quarter scale. Yikes, right? But it is a chair. It's Batman. He's got his legs kind of crossed. He's got his cape flowing over his leg, and it is a base. It is a direct representation of the art by Gabriel Del Otto. This is what this piece is inspired by, Gabriel Del Otto. Now I have the canvas of this particular piece, okay? Um, it's remarked by him, it's absolutely fantastic. I got that uh, from Hank, uh, Bulletproof Comics, absolutely fantastic, right? Um, love this piece. So the chair is really cool. I really like that on the chair, it has the, um, the pieces of the cave real close to his chair, okay? There's nothing else other than the chair and Batman and then the, rock, the rocks up front, right? I think that looks great, and I can really see him standing right beside Alfred, or Alfred standing right beside a seated Batman. I think it'll look great. I think it'll be cool on like a top shelf of my Bat Bunker, um, you know, up in the front uh, with my other quarter scale pieces. So that's option number one. Again, thousand dollars, right? Then there's option two. Now, option two is really really cool. You have all of the monitors. Okay, um, the monitors though um, can do a lot of things. You can actually plug a USB. I could put all my, my, my Batman statue collector logo there. Um, you could have all of these things that are pre-built in. You can put basically anything you want on the screens. And I think that is freaking amazing. It is a little over $2,000 for that. Eek. So $1,000. Now you also get an unmasked portrait, okay, which I would never use. Um, you also get um, the, like the open leg version, which I don't really necessarily would not use. And also, like, he's got, like, his hand up a little bit instead of on the chair, on the armrest. So, that's cool. There are probably switch outs, though, I wouldn't use. So, I would be paying $1,000 more just for the monitors. And I think the monitors are amazing. But here is my thing that I don't like about the monitors. Most of the time, they're going to be off. Okay? Because most of us don't have our plug-in or our light-ups on very often. So, it would just be black screens. So, is it worth it? If you add the screens, but they're off most of the time, they're just black. I thought about make, actually making some like stickers to kind of like put on it to make it look like it's on, even though when it's not, that's an option. 
it kind of sucks that I have to do that though. Um, again, it's a thousand dollars more. So two thousand dollars for a quarter scale statue. Now, that is option number two. Um, the thing I don't like about it as much with the rock work is the rock work spread out a little bit more. I like that it's kind of got that bigger piece of rock work up front on the just the chair. Okay, so again, just little nitpicks for me. Option number three is the ultimate deluxe super super califragilistic XP Aldocious version. And it is the one where it's got the diorama back in the back. Now it's got a little bit of rocks that peek over the top. Okay, that looks cool. And then the bot the back is phenomenal. It's got like the bat cave and it's got the little Batmobile and Batman standing out front. <clears throat> I think that one's cool. And again, it's like twenty eight hundred dollars plus for that version. And I said before that like it's you're it's hidden. Most people are not gonna see it. Well, Prime One reached out to me and said, Hey Chris, you can you can just display it beside it. I'm okay. I don't need to do that, me personally. I think it looks great. I love that it's got a little bit of peaky of the back cave, but I don't I don't know if it's eight hundred dollars more worth it to me. Again, you're talking about nearly three grand, and then you're talking about tax, shipping, and all of that on top of it. And that's one thing with Sideshow is you do have to pay tax. Okay? So consider that. You might have a little less shipping, but you are gonna have hundreds of dollars in tax depending on how much you spend where you don't pay tax if you order from Prime One. So I always say, do the math. Go to both websites, do the math. Now I know the problem with that is, is oftentimes they don't quote correct shipping. So Prime One might quote this shipping today, but then it's $800 more the next time. Sideshow, you know, again, we don't know. We don't know until it ships. So that's, that's the crapshoot, right? Rolling the dice. So, in my opinion, I've got two options. The chair, just the chair for a thousand, which is still a lot of money for a chair in Batman. Again, you can kind of picture Alfred next to him. Or should I go the $2,000 route and get the monitors? Again, I wouldn't use the swap outs, but I would use the monitors. I think it would be really cool to have the monitors, but is it worth another grand, okay? So that's the question I'm posing to you guys. I need your help. I need you to help me figure out which one I should buy. Because I do want to get one. I love Gabriel the Auto. I want a statue of his work. Um, and I love the idea that I have the, the canvas to go along with it. Um, I don't know if it'll be paired with it. Probably won't be. But it'll still be in the Batcave somewhere um, on my art wall. So I don't know. I'm just curious. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I'm not sure which one to do. I don't know if I should spend the money or if just the chair. Which again, I really like the rock work on the chair better but the monitors are cool too. So again, which one do you guys think I should go for? And uh, if you bought it, which one did you get? Please let the let me know in the comments down below. The links are down below too if you wanna order it uh, from Sideshow. Uh, that does help the channel if you use those links. So thank you guys as always. And uh, again, this is just me shooting the breeze with you guys. Uh, this is the stuff I, <laughs> I lay uh, at night thinking about. So uh, anyway, let me know what you think. Which one should I order? And uh, hopefully I'll order it this week. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, again, thank you for watching today. Uh, if you are new here, please subscribe. Like the video. Uh, hit the join button down below for early access. And again, can't thank you guys enough. Hope you're all doing well. Continue to take well, uh, well care of yourself because I know sickness is starting to roll in. I was sick recently. Uh, feeling much better. Thank you for all the well wishes. But uh, it's definitely going around. So uh, wash those hands, cover those coughs, all that good stuff. And just uh, get a lot of sleep. Take care of yourself, guys because um, you're amazing. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you in the back cave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the back cave.